a big gap here. Oh, that's sick, but this nigga ugly, baby. Oh, that's sick. Doing all this now. Um, welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, I usually focus, focus camera, focus, 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 bitch. There we go. I definitely usually don't start off my videos inside. Um, usually start them off outside or under the car, but I wanted to make this part of the video more like showing my appreciation for the love that the channel has been receiving. The channel is now up over 300,000 views, which is crazy. I know a lot of guys got that um, on one video, but um, the last time I posted was like sometime last year, I think like in December or something like that. And I just didn't really have the time or, or didn't have the resources, which is money to continue doing bills and stuff like that. And then I ran into a big issue with the Mustang. So the Mustang won't be on the channel anymore. So I do have a new car and I'm gonna reveal that one to you guys in a video after this one. But I wanna first start off by saying um, thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel and also um, turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss another video because I am going to start weekly content. And if that goes well, I'm gonna start daily content. And the content is gonna be like, just like what we normally do, either putting a car together, swapping the motor, turbocharger, supercharger, stuff like that. So um, some very interesting cars will be joining the channel very soon. But when I went on my YouTube analytics and I like, like the watch time for this month, which is 28 days, is like 33,000 watch minutes. And let me see what that equates to when it comes to hours like how many how much hours people are sitting down watching the videos so 33,000 it's actually 33,700 so you divide that by 60 that's 561 hours in the last 21 days that people around the world sat down and watched me on my YouTube channel doing what I do best um, which is how to videos um, just the bills that I do, like the Mustang, um, the Marauder, uh, the Camaro, the Camaro Turbo Camaro video is doing very well. That's almost up to 30,000 views, but I really wanted to show my appreciation because I don't think I would be continuing to do this if I didn't get like, you know, that kind of love. And I didn't even know that the channel was doing that well until I checked it today. So we're going to continue on, um, this video. Um, outside and I am going to be putting a starter back inside the Marauder that I borrowed from a friend just to see if it runs I really don't have a desire to put any money into a car that has been underwater but if it runs and it runs well enough we might just see a part two of you know adding boost and continue going at it um, when it comes to building the Marauder so I am gonna get dressed because definitely I don't have any clothes on and we are going to go outside and put the starter back in the Marauder. All right, guys, so we are outside now and we are under the hood of the Marauder. And as you can see, salt got to um, everything. Uh, the turbo is completely rusty. Surprisingly, it still spins. Um, I had all the plugs out, I had the um, intake off, just to make sure no more water gets down in the motor. And I actually need to pull off that oil filter and fill it with oil, because most likely it's filled with water. I already filled the motor with oil itself, but I haven't taken off the oil filters yet. Um, I don't have anyone here helping me record, but I'm just going to jack this up, put the starter back in and uh, put the plugs back in. Um, actually, I'm gonna roll it over a few times just to make sure those cylinders are empty. And then I'm gonna put the plugs back in and see if it fires up and if it's knocking or what it's doing, you know? I don't know how the car is actually gonna behave, but I'm gonna just start working on it. And when it's time to start cranking it, I will start recording again. All right, so I got the starter in and um, let me just show you guys. So, 
I have the starter and I know you guys can't really see it, but let me see if I could zoom in on it. Right underneath that header. I have the starter in. Right, let me see if I can point at it. Right there. That's what these red wires go to. But I made a rookie mistake. I took the spark plugs out um, when I went to start it. I think it was about like two months ago or something like that. And I didn't put them back in. So now the motor is basically locked from rust being in the cylinders. So what I'm gonna go do now is I'm gonna go buy some diesel, pour it down in the cylinders, let it sit for about, I'd say 24 hours to two days. And then I'm gonna come back and try to roll the motor from the crank uh, just roll it back and forth until that uh, surface rust breaks away and then we'll continue with this video so i can't really speed up that process um, so you guys will all see this in one video but um, like i said I, I have to um let it sit for a day or two so that's gonna hold me up well let's get to it Whew. All right guys, so I was super friggin concerned about this motor. I know it's late uh, All of this right here is like diesel and tranny fluid and all that stuff uh, Basically what I was doing is I took diesel and For the first day I poured diesel uh, excuse this wire. I have a lot of stuff to fix on this car, but um, I poured diesel in the spark plug holes um, for the first day let that sit then I did tranny fluid for the second day and I let that sit and then I did diesel again today this morning and what I did was I just kept um, pumping the starter like to hit the flywheel very hard with a good battery and eventually it just broke free on the third day and the motor didn't seize because I ran out of oil it seized because when I did the first video recording um, that this was went that it went underwater and I was trying to bring it back I left the spark plugs out so I believe like a uh, rust or whatever when the air got to it it just rust the pistons to the cylinder but let me sit in the car now and um, I'll show you what she's doing because I have all the plugs out and everything all right so now when you turn the key it's spinning over so that's very good I don't want to spend it too long, but um, because, uh, let me flip this camera around. All right, so because I was putting the diesel and the tranny fluid in it, I don't want to put the plugs back in, um, wire everything up, and then start it with that, with that crappy mixture in it. Um, I'm gonna drain out whatever's, whatever is in it now, and hopefully tomorrow I get some more um, oil and I'm gonna fill it with oil and then um, we're gonna try and start it tomorrow and see if it's knocking or maybe it's running fine you never know but it's just a video on um, getting the car started again no matter the situation I'm not sure if I want to put money back into a car that's already been on the water so um, that's all for today I'm gonna record day three of this tomorrow and then I'm gonna edit and post it and all that stuff so um, let's go day three all right guys welcome back it's i think it's like day four or something like that and look at the weather i don't know if you guys can see that but it is cold it is about to rain so i'm going to make this part of the video very short um i already put the spark plugs back in i put the wires back on well they come with coil packs and um i filled it with oil i drained out all that diesel that um automatic transmission fluid all of that stuff so I'm just gonna show it to you guys, then we're gonna prime the motor because I don't have any gas in the car. Anytime you drain it completely of oil, you always wanna crank the motor over several times uh, to prime the system again before putting, well, fuel and gas in it that'll start the motor. So let me just turn the camera around. Lift the hood up. All right, heavy son of a gun. All right, there we go. As you can see, all the uh, plugs and wires and everything is in oil is in let's crank it over a few times before putting the um i know in here is a mess you gotta excuse that guys but um yeah let me crank it i 
prepared. Alright, so that should have primed the oil in the system. Now I am going to fill the motor. Not fill the motor. I'm going to fill the car with gas and then um, we will come back and try to start it. All right, so this is the moment of truth. Um, just a little context. The reason why there was no gas in the car is because after Hurricane Dorian, um, that's actually the storm that she went underwater in. Um, I took all the gas out of her to put in my generator because we didn't have any power. So and then I'll take the key and prime the system about three times. So just gonna cycle it on. Pump is turned off, turn it back off, cycle it on again, wait for the pump to turn off, cycle it off again, turn it on. All right, now we're gonna try to start it. Like I said, guys, this is the first time that um, I tried to start it. Um, I started it once after the storm and it just pumped a bunch of water out of it, then I let it sit for about two months. Um, that's in another video. Um, I'll link that first video in the description, but let's try to start it. Not getting anything, so I'm gonna go under the hood, see what's going on, see if there's any leaks. So I don't see anything um, wrong as yet, but I definitely could tell that, that start is rolling over pretty slow. So I'm gonna put another battery in it and try it again. All right, so I've put a new battery in it, a uh, different one. Let's try it again. It's puffing out some white smoke. It sounds like it's just rolling over hard. It sounds like it wants to start. sound healthy at all. Puffing out white smoke. And it doesn't want to stay started. Making a lot of bad noises. All right, let's look under the hood for a second. Well, I hear a lot of dripping. So I don't know if there's a bunch of leakage somewhere. Let's look around the other side. Hmm. Nothing much to see, but I don't know what could be causing it not to run right. All right, let's try starting it again. I know this battery is soon gonna die, but let's try it one more time just to see if we can get it to um, idle. All right. Uh oh, backfire. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, so the battery's dead for sure now. All right, gotta charge this battery. Come on, come on. Yeah, that battery's toast. All right, so obviously we got it to start, um, which is a good thing in itself because um, it means that you could tear this motor down and probably just do some bearings and it'll be back to normal. I don't know if I want to do that, I don't know if I want to dump any more money into this car, but we did what we set out to do, which was start it. And it did start, even though it didn't idle. All right, guys, so I spoke way too soon when I said that this uh, motor wouldn't idle. Um, I got it to start, um, but it's rod knocking ever so slightly. It has like a slight tick or knock to it. I don't know what the hell they call it. It's puffing out white smoke, so definitely the motor isn't in the best shape possible. But uh, let me just show you guys what it's doing. 
So I'm gonna start it now. So see there, puffing out the white smoke. Let's see if I can show you guys some footage of it running. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.